Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today's topic is about direct esophagus. So as we discussed in the previous in the previous video about uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease, we said that the mucosal lining of the esophagus is irritated with some type of inflammation that can lead to ulceration and strictures. So what happens if you have Long-standing gastroesophageal flux disease that is not treated. You are not taking any drug. You are not. You are not uh, asking people what to do. So, if you have a long-standing gastroesophageal flux disease, what can happen to the uh, mucosal lining of your esophagus? Will it get inflamed or what? So normally, as I told you in the previous video. We know that the squamous, stratified squamous epithelium in the esophagus is very sensitive to uh, the acid. So what happens is that the body tries to uh, place the stratified squamous epithelium in the distal third of the esophagus where acid irritates the mucosa by a, a, new, type of, uh, a new type of epithelium called intestinal epithelium. Intestinal epithelium, which is uh, the simple columnar epithelium, resistant to acid. However, this can uh, be very bad because uh, this type, if, if you have this conversion type of conversion happen, this is called metaplasia. And if metaplasia happens, it's going to be pretty and serious because the chances of uh, being dysplastic and turning into cancer are very high. And this is it's very dangerous, dangerous pathology. So uh, what happens is the glandular epithelium, uh, metaplasia, in the distal third of uh, esophagus, secondary to chronic mucosal irritation by gastroesophageal reflux. As I told you, it's in the distal third, and it occurs in five percent, fifty percent of patients with GERD. Here, as we see, there is a, this is a normal. This is a normal tree of the esophagus. As we see, there is stratified squamous epithelium and the underlying lamina propria. But here, this is also uh, esophagus esophageal lining. But this type is uh, intestinal epithelium, and this is what happens in the right esophagus if you take um, a, biop a biopsy from a patient. Uh, from which you suspect uh, that he or she has uh, esophagus. If you take a biopsy, it will look like this. As we see here, we have the simple columnar epithelium exactly at the. So why it's bad? As I told you, because it's considered to be to be a pre malignant condition because uh, you have a great chances of uh, getting a uh, dysplasia, and dysplasia means. The, the cells are abnormal under the microscope, but yet they are not uh, But they have very chance to be cancerous and the only treatment is to remove it And if you get dysplasia, it can progress and turn into a cancer called adenal carcinoma in which the uh, You have a tumor that it's that is uh, that has a glandular like structure under the microscope so again as we see here uh, you get metaplasia as a result of the uh, uh, continuous irritation from the acid and this is the virus and here you have dysplasia and as I told you it's precancerous and has a very high chance to turn into cancer and uh, if you continue to be irritated by uh, the gastric acid and the inflammation continues. Uh, this can lead to accumulation of uh, mutations that finally lead to cancer. Uh, that is the only way is by endoscopy. You you uh, you have the endoscope inside the esophagus of the patient, and in the distal part, you see this dark color. This area is very different from the this. Uh, this color, this is a normal epithelium, this is a pathologic epithelium uh, that result from barred esophagus. As we see here, it's very dark, and if you take a biopsy from it, it 
uh, intestinal epithelium, the simple columnar epithelium. Now, if you see this type of uh, change in the distal part of the esophagus, esophagus you will most likely take a, a biopsy and examine it, and this will give you the uh, confirmation of uh, uh, of Barrett esophagus. And the treatment, there is no drug that you can take because it can uh, turn into malignant or can turn into malignant tumor and spread to other body to, to the rest of your body. So if you if you if you discover uh, if you discover if you discover this type of uh, change, uh, this uh, will lead you to uh, do good resection. And this concludes our video.